Hey guys, in this video we are looking at naming alkenes. It is very, very similar to naming alkanes, and if you haven't done that video, I suggest you go and do that one first, because it kind of builds on it. Um, I'm going to take you through the rules for it, I'm going to show you some examples of doing it, and then the second half of the video is going to be you trying to name some things yourself. If you want a hard copy of the ones you can name yourself, um, you can go to my website, get my workbook, they're all in there for you to fill it in as you go along. Good luck guys, um, I really love like organic chemistry, I find it really relaxing. Hope you do too. When we are naming things in organic chemistry, we need to be using prefixes and suffixes. So prefixes are just the first name. Um, these are over here in this section here. You have to know these. Um, so if you don't need these, pause the video and write them down. And then in this video, we're talking about alkenes. So this is the suffix. This is like the second name or the bit at the end. Here I have um, alkanes and alkenes. Now you can tell or a way that you can remember that alkanes have single bonds because they have one in it, so there is our single bond. Alkenes have double bonds and there are two E's and those are our double bonds. So if it has an E in there, it has at least one double bond. So here are the rules that I want you to use when you're naming anything in organic chemistry. Work out what the longest carbon carbon chain is, doesn't have to be straight, get a highlighter, colour it in. Big circle around all the side branches and the functional groups and work out what they are. Number it, so the um, highest priority functional group has the lowest number. If you've got more than one um, of the same group, then we die, try. Things go in alphabetical order, commas between numbers and hyphens separate letters from numbers. So here we have an alkene. I'm going to identify my um, longest carbon chain, just going to highlight it there. Um, we have our double bond in the middle, so I'm just going to um, number it. One, two, three, four. Here is my functional group. It is on carbon number two. Remember, we're looking for the lowest possible numbers. So this is butte because it has uh, four carbons. Two because that's where the functional group is. Ene, and that's what our functional group is, but2-ene. Next one here, my longest carbon chain goes along there. Now, my functional group is here, and I want it to have the lowest numbers possible, so I need to start numbering from the um, right-hand side. So one, two, three, four, Five. My functional group is on carbon number two. It has five carbons. So this is pent two ene. Here we have one with two double bonds in it. Just going to highlight my longest chain again. Um, circle. Oops, wrong thing. Circle my functional groups. Number it. So I've got the lowest numbers possible. One two, three, four, five, six. So I've got functional group on two and I've got a functional group on three. I've got six carbons. So this is hex, two, comma, three, dash, di, because I've got two double bonds, in. Hex, two, three, di, in. Slightly harder one now. Here is my longest functional group. And I have not only some double bonds here and here, but I have a methyl group up here. So I'm going to number it. One, two, three, four, five. So I have a um, double bond on two, I have a double bond on four, and then I have a functional group on two, and it is a methyl group. So this is two dash methyl. Uh, five pent dash uh, oops that is not on two that is on one my mistake there one four dash dying two methyl pent one four dying Another one for you here. Um, if you're finding copying these from the, the screen slightly hard to name them, if you've got me over on Patreon, you can have access to my Google Drive where you get the worksheet to do. Um, so the longest carbon chain 
actually isn't straight it is a bent one this time you have to watch out for that not all of your carbon chains are going to be straight i have a bond a double bond there a double bond there i have a group there um and i have a group there so numbering it one two three four five six seven so i've got a double bond on two i've got a double bond on four i have a three methyl and i have a five methyl so this gives me three comma five dash di methyl seven carbons hept dash two comma four diene next one here for you our longest carbon chain goes along here like this um looking at our functional groups we've got a double bond there we've got a group here we've got one here and we've got one here um lowest number is going to go one two three four five six seven so that gives me a one there four there a five there and a four ethyl so that would give me four ethyl uh, hept dash one four five triene Last one here, um, can appear rather nasty, but as long as you follow the rule through, you should be absolutely fine. So here is our um, longest carbon chain. If we just look for our functional groups, we've got one here, we've got one here, we've got one here, and we've got one up here. Numbering one, two, three, four, five, six, seven so i've got a double bond on two i've got a double bond on three this is a five methyl and this is a five ethyl remember those need to be in alphabetical order so we get a five ethyl five methyl hept Dash. This is all one word, so just because I've had to go in a separate line doesn't mean it's a separate word. Um, hept 2, 3, diene. Name this. Here we have two carbons and a double bond, so this is ethene. Remember, when we're looking for um, double bonds, it is an ene because an ene has two e's in it so he's going to have a double bond and alkane is going to end a n e that is only going to have um one e in it so it's going to be a single bond name this now this is slightly um, more complicated to name because we have our functional group here we need to have our numbers so the lowest we need to start numbering one two three so it is a probe the functional group is on carbon number one, so it is prope one ene. Name this. Here we have four carbons, numbering them one, two, three, four. So this is going to be but one ene. Name this. Here again we have butene, but one, two, three, four. The double bond has moved, making it but two ene. Name this butene again and numbering it one, two, three, four, so that our functional group has the lowest number, so this is but one ene again. Name this. Four carbons again. One, two, three, four. So this is but one, three, diene. 
explain this. So we have one, two, three, four as our carbons. We have our functional group here and we have a two methyl functional group, so that is two methyl butes two ene. Name this. So this one is slightly trickier because I'm around a corner. So there are five carbons in a row. We've got our functional group here on carbon number two. We've got a three methyl functional group as well. So that makes it three dash methyl pent two in. Name this one. So again, I've gone round a corner here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got my functional group here on a two. I've got another functional group here on a four. I've got a three methyl. And I've got a four ethyl. And um, let's get a number. I'm so putting these in alphabetical order. Four ethyl, three methyl, hept dash two comma four dash diene. Name this. So we have lots of functional groups here. One, two, three four, five, six carbons in a row. We've got functional group on one, we've got functional group on two, we've got functional group on a four, and we also have a four methyl functional group. So if you put that all together, we go four methyl hex dash one, two, four, Name this one. So I'm going to start numbering up here. One, two, three, four, five, because I want my functional groups to have the lowest number possible. So I have a functional group on one, I have a functional group on two, and then I have a three methyl as well. So that gives me three methyl pent one, two, Name this. My longest carbon chain, looking for where the lowest numbers are going to be, are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I've got a functional group on 1, I've got a functional group on 3, I've got a functional group on 5, then I have a 3 methyl, I have a 6 methyl and I have a 7 methyl. So that gives us 3, 6, 7 trimethyl oct 1, 3, 5 trine name this. So my longest con chain is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I've got a functional group on 1, functional group on 2, functional group on 3, a functional group on 5. Then I have a 4 methyl. 5 methyl and a 6 methyl, so that gives me 4, 5, 6 
try a missile. Oct one, two, four, five, tetra in. Name this one. So I have one, two, three, four. I have functional group on one, and then I have a three. Bromo functional group as well, so that gives me three. Bromo, but one, in. Name this one. I have one, two, three, four. So I've got functional group here, I need to start numbering here, so it's lower. I have functional group on two, and then I have a one fluoro. I have a three bromo, and I have a two chloro. So in alphabetical order, this is three bromo, two chloro, one fluoro, but two e. Name this. So we have one, two, three, four, five. I've got a functional group on one, I've got a functional group on four, and then I have one, two, three, four brain rows on four, two, three, and one. So that gives me one, two, three, four. Tetra bromo pent one four dying. And we'd like to know this is our last one for you to name. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got a functional group on two. I've got a two bromo, I've got a one chloro, I've got a three bromo, I've got a four ethyl, I've got a five methyl, I've got a six bromo, and a six bromo, and a seven bromo. Is there everything? Good. Okay. So in alphabetical order, I have, let me just shift that up ever so slightly so I can write it on the bottom. I have two, three, two, three, six, six, seven, six, six, seven, dash, penta, bromo. One chloro four ethyl five methyl hept two. And like with the alkanes, if you can name that, you can name anything the examiner will throw at you. Well done guys, some of these were really, really hard work.